my guest today made her mark at this year's Eurovision representing Armenia, and now she is making waves all across the globe, including right here in Times Square with her viral song, Snap, and she is showing no signs of slowing down. Please welcome to Fresh Out Live, Rosalind. Feeling the love in New York City? I am. I'm in love with New York City. I, that's my first time here, and it's wonderful. Wow. So what have you been doing? I saw your Instagram. You've been taking some pictures of like you know the scenery, but have you done anything like uh, touristy? I honestly just walked a lot. Okay. Uh, yesterday I had my first slice of pizza. Oh, nice. Not ever, just in New York. In New York. Okay. How was yeah. it? Yeah. It was great. Very, very great. Did you go like fancy or dollar slice? Uh, I did. What was it called? Regular Dagular Slice. I okay. Don't, I don't know. All right, I, yeah. I was just like, give me some regular Dagular Slice. You sound very New York right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you're from Armenia, and I, I have uh, some friends from Armenia, and they were telling me to ask you about this meat pie, I guess, is a delicacy. Is it a Lakmajun? Is that how I say that? <gasps> Lamajo? Lamajun, exactly. I butchered it. Oh, God. It. A I'm regular sad. degular llama is that Yes, how that's how you say it there. <laughs> is it good? I'm going to eat a lot of it when I'm back home. I'm actually going to back home in a week. Oh, I'm wow. very excited. Well, very cool. Let's talk about why you're here. I mean, in large part, why you're here, Snap is just why am I? so... <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Pop quiz, no. Uh, but this song, Snap, is just really taking over the world, and congratulations on all the success. Um, maybe somebody watching TV right now that might not, you know, be living under a rock and hasn't heard Snap yet. What's the song about? What made you write it? Well, um, when I was 18, I fell in love so deeply, and it lasted for kind of a, a long time. And... Um, you know, I was in my bedroom going through a lot. Um, and and it, it's uh, funny because Snap is not, it's not funny, but um, Snap is not only about love, but it's also about, you know, mental health and kind of like dealing yeah. with all that. Um, and I just, you know, got this idea of snapping. Like we're, we're, we're all, you know, have been at that point of like giving up and it's like snapping. So um, that, that's a fun song. Definitely. And then what's cool about it too, you know, we're here at MTV, we, we love music videos here if you haven't heard. You got two music videos for this yes. one. The first one I guess was shot primarily uh, for, Eurovision. for Eurovision. yeah. And then when the song really took off, you shot a second video and yep. it's really cool. It almost looks like you shot it in the desert. I was curious where you did shoot this video. We, uh, we, we filmed it uh, a bit far from LA. Okay. I'm not even, like, I don't not know sure. where. It was desert-y looking, kind of. Right, right on. <laughs> Did you make it to Vegas? It looks like I-15, like that's the road you take out there. No, I don't think we were that close. Right. Well, next time you gotta go to, out All there, right. that's a good time. Um, but what's like this, the story behind the video? Well, as I said, um, Snap is also about mental health. I and mean, we kind of like, with the second one, we uh, wanted to do it a bit, kind of touch on that a bit more and kind mm. of a, do a bit more kind of like new Rosalind version, kind of like a more grown yeah. touch. Yeah, um, it came out beautiful. Thank you. It's really you. nice. I love that one. And, I love um, both of them. There's so much going on with you. You also linked up with a former Eurovision contestant, Duncan Lawrence. Again, I would yes. do it again. How did that happen? Is it almost like a fraternity or sorority when you're on that show? Like, you, do you just naturally form a bond with anyone who's been through that experience? Um, that that duet is very special to me because, um, well, first of all, I loved Arcade. Wonderful song, um, and um, he didn't even know me at that point where I was like jamming, listening to Arcade and like singing that song. And he was um, actually one of the first people to congratulate me on Snap success. And he was like, um, "Why not do something together?" Because we we're both kind of like breaking through this Eurovision format into like more global thing. And I was like, "Of course, <laughs> let's do it. Why not?" Um, we actually became very good friends and I went to Stockholm, I showed him this song and we went to the studio and he cut um, some vocals and it sounded magical. It, um, for me, it just made the song complete. It was always kind of felt like something was missing when I was just like listening to my version of it. I was like, eh, you know, we need something else. And yeah. then down here was a missing part. Def definitely. Um, well, a round of applause for this next achievement because you're going out on tour with Ed Sheeran. Yes. I mean, this is massive. Look at those dates. It is massive. It's, it's such an incredible opportunity. What are you looking forward to about tour? First of all, just meet Ed, because I admire um, his talent and his um, songwriting um, skills. And just, uh, you know, um, also, of course, singing in arenas and stadiums. Oh, that's my passion. Honestly, that's, that's just why I do this whole thing, just to be on stage and perform for um, people and um, yeah. feel that energy. 
Oh, absolutely. It's going to be amazing. The dates are on the screen right there. Um, well, with tour coming up, it's the natural next question. Is there new music? What's like on the horizon for you? It is. I uh, spent two months in LA writing for my uh, first album, and uh, I'm very proud of it. Very excited. Um, we did pretty much like most of the writing. Um, I wrote with like wonderful, wonderful people. And thanks to my team for like making it happen to me because, you know, some of the sessions were just like a dream come true. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, probably next spring, uh, nice. we're going to release the album. Amazing. We can't wait for that, Rosalind. We're out of time, unfortunately. Thank but thank you again to Rosalind. Make sure you check out Snap. Make sure you check out the new record when it comes to next spring. Thank you for joining us. This is Fresh Out Live and MTV. Have an awesome weekend.